Good afternoon, Paul Lewis Wink. And so this weekend we have Good Shepherd Sunday. And uh, in today's gospel, in the Sunday's gospel, Jesus will say, my sheep hear my voice. Now a couple weeks ago we talked about the discernment of spirits and I threw out a couple principles and talked about desolation versus consolation. And I think I just want to throw up more points out there in terms of prayer and trying to figure out God's will in your life. Because a lot of times, most of the time we're trying to make decisions and we're trying and obviously the point of the whole spiritual life is to do God's will and sometimes we're very confused. And I think the hardest thing is not so much between good and evil, it's when we have two goods, you know, uh, like an elective surgery. You don't know what to do. You know, you have to weigh, weigh the balances. What, you have two jobs on the table. What do I do? All right, maybe a couple points here. You know, now once again, going back to last week, we, we usually hear God's voice when we're in, in times of serenity or peace, also consolation. That's when we really need to work on our prayer. It's really hard in desolation, but let's just say, you know, for argument's sake, we're in a good, spa a good space spiritually. Well, first off, I think there's some, some uh, principles that need to be abided by. And first is state of life. So what I mean by that is this, and I, I stole this all from one senior pope, so I give him credit, especially in the era we have to make sure that we put, you know, uh, footnote, footnote or, or passages, is, um, you know, a state of life. So what I mean by this is if God's speaking to me, he's not going to ask me to do something that's going to take me away from my priesthood. Okay, so, if, uh, you know, like, um, for instance, you know, God will never ask me to run for public office. Well, I'm not supposed to because I'm a priest and we're supposed to be apolitical, so to speak. Uh, but, uh, but it would take me away from my priestly duties. Now, if he asked me to do a retreat, uh, you know, maybe in Pennsylvania, why not have to discern is, is, can I do that? And, and, and I'd have to say, well, if it's, if it's something according to my, my vocation, and, and the same goes with married persons. God's not going to do, guess, ask you to do something that's going to destroy your marriage. So you have to take a job overseas. You got to weigh that. Is that God asking you to do that? Unless, you know, maybe it is, but there's got to be some kind of, uh, you know, it's got to help the marriage and not hinder it. Okay, so that's one point to think about. Another point to think about is that um, there, there should be some sort of uh, peace when you make the decision. There's a serenity that has to set in uh, when we make, when we do God's, God's will. And, you know, so one thing I want to talk about this weekend is, you know, how does a guy know he's called to be a priest or a woman's called to be a religious sister? Uh, I found an article and it said that when a woman goes through a discernment whether or not she should become a religious sister, and I think this is very true, I went through this myself, you know, just praying for years, you know, should I be a priest? There's, there's, there's basically three parts that you go through. First, there's silence. Then there's followed by fear. You know, there's, a, there's sort of like, you know, oh my gosh, would God ask me to do this? And a lot of times we could be haunted by some kind of fear. But then there's a leap of faith. There comes a point where you're like, you know, it makes sense. There's no reason why this isn't right. It makes sense what God has been telling me. And then following that should be peace and joy. Hmm? You know, in other words, we know in, we know we did God's will if, and we heard his voice. If there's some kind of serenity, if there's total serenity and total joy lacking, we've got to question ourselves, is that God's will? All right, last point. All right, is that anything from Jesus' voice is always, is always in line with church's teaching and scripture and tradition, okay? Uh, you know, if a woman says, you know, God called and told me in prayer to divorce, divorce my husband. Uh, I don't think that's true. Okay, why? Because Jesus, it says in scripture, God hates divorce. I mean, uh, you know, if a priest was heard, like, I'm gonna leave the priest to marry the woman in the front pew. Uh, don't think that's what God's uh, voice because it's a breaking of the sixth commandment, you know? Um, you know, uh, guys, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, people will say stuff like this. Well, you know, my son struggles with same-sex attraction. I think he's called to get married and be happy. Sorry, <laughs> it's not God's will. I mean, simply why it, it's breaking God's word. So the point to be made is this: is that anytime it's God's will, um, it's never going to contradict the Bible. It's not going to contradict His voice because the voice of Jesus Christ and the church, the church's voice. And, and, the, and the voice of Christ are one and the same. God bless you.